Hello and welcome to the video of understanding software testing. In this video, we'll see the seven principles of software testing. The first principle is testing shows the presence of a defect, not their absence. What does this mean? When we do testing, we can show the defects, we can catch them and we can get them fixed. But if no errors are found, no defects are found during testing, that doesn't mean there are no defects in the software. Testing is not a proof of correctness. The second principle of software testing is the exhaustive testing is not possible. What does this mean? That means you cannot write each and every test case to test every scenario in the software. That's impossible. That's why you have to focus on prioritizing the test techniques, prioritizing what is critical in the software that needs to be tested. The third principle of software testing is early testing saves time and money. When we start early testing in the software development lifecycle, we kind of catch bugs early in the life cycle. This will save us time fixing the bug at the end of the release. When we are close to the release, it will cost us extra time. And when we give extra time, extra money is to be invested for machine, for human power. So it is always good to start early the testing of a software. The fourth principle of software testing is defects clustered together. What does this mean? That when we are doing testing and we get multiple failures, multiple errors, the usually the cause of those failures or is usually in one module or a one piece of code. So you have to keep in mind, and this is a very important principle of software testing is when there are multiple failures, most of the time the defect is one and the errors are multiple. So that is this principle that defects cluster together. The fifth principle of software testing is beware of pesticide paradox. Wow, this is one of the very important principle. If you are developing test cases and you keep running them over a period of time again and again, over a period of time, your defect catching will reduce. The number of errors of the test cases will reduce. So keep in mind, if you do not update the test data, you do not add new test cases, you are going to reach a stage where your regression test is going to have zero defect. And that's not what we are aiming towards. So it is always good to add new tests, new test data to capture new defects, new errors. The sixth principle of software testing is testing is context dependent. What does this mean? That this means that your software testing strategy techniques will be different for a mobile app. It will be different for a automotive software. And it will be different for a hardware. If your hardware and software are together, it will be different. So remember, you cannot have one standard operating procedure for software testing. It is context dependent. The last and seventh principle of software testing is absence of an error is fallacy. What does this mean? That means even if you run a lot of tests and you do not catch any errors, that doesn't assure that the software or the system is good to release, that there are no defects. This is quite similar to the first and the second principle that we discussed. The first principle is testing is for showing the defects. It does not say the absence of a defect. And the second principle is exhaustive testing is impossible. So remember, if your system or your software does not show any defects, that does not assure that there are no errors in it. Let us recap through the seven principles of software testing. The first principle is testing shows the presence of defect, not their absence. Second is exhaustive testing is impossible. Third is early testing saves time and money. Fourth is defect cluster together. Four, fifth is beware of pesticide paradox. Sixth is testing is context dependent. Seventh is absence of an error is fallacy. Thank you for watching this video. If you like content about software testing and Python automation, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified every time I upload a new video. Like this video. See you next time.